it's time to smoke up that salmon so you know what comes next a uh, little bit of drill talk now we're out at the barbecue so we're gonna go ahead and open up the lid and as you can see underneath here I have what we call a little hack um, so I just went to the dollar store and then picked up one of their uh, metal cookie sheets with holes in it as you can see those are pretty uniformed and then I just went in and had fun with my own drill and then started perforating everything and then built a little saddle for it to hold itself up so I can get some ventilation in there and then threw some foil down in below. Anyway, this cost me a dollar and some time and a few fasteners that I had laying around. So, uh, so anyway, this is my smoke bucket. And so what I'll do here is I'll just gonna go in and throw some of my pellets in here. And then what I have going on here is a combination of apple and uh, alder as well. And so I'm just gonna lay down a little bit here and then I'm gonna come in and uh, gonna grab some of these uh, alder, all natural wood chips. And I'm not worried about wetting them down to get that smoke. Um, this is really only gonna live in here for about two hours at the most. And the whole idea is I'm gonna burn this all out. Cause I don't know about you, but I like smoky salmon. I don't wanna have salmon with just a little bit of smoke on it. So I do it dry, so it's gonna burn better. We'll put that off to the side. And then I'll come back here, grab some of my pellets, and throw that in here. All right, I'm good to go with the pellet. I'm gonna close that down. And uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. And I'm just gonna torch it. So last time I left you, I uh, didn't have the salmon out here, so I have the salmon out here now. And now I'm just kind of making sure that I'm getting a good flame on my uh, uh, wood pellets here and the wood chips. And I'm only doing the two sides right now. I will get to the other side, or the middle in just a second. So we'll just get this going. And uh, so what am I doing here? Well. I could use a normal smoker to smoke my salmon. It'd probably be a little bit easier. But uh, since I don't have one of those, uh, I created the hack, you know, this, this you know, pellet tray. Uh, I could have also bought one of those at Amazon for 20, 30 bucks or whatever it is. But uh, anyway, I had fun building it. And it works. It does what I want it to. So I'll get a little heat on this. And then uh, I'm doing what we call a cold smoke. So the whole idea is to keep the barbecue at a uh, low temperature but high smoke level. And uh, that way it's gonna permeate the salmon and give me a really good robust uh, smoky um, salmon flavor. And then uh, I'm gonna do this for two hours. And uh, so we're gonna let this flame burn out a little bit. And while that's doing that, I'll try not to burn myself. I'm going to take my salmon and I'm just going to place it up here on the rack and I do it on the top rack for obvious reasons because smoke rises right along with the heat and then uh, um, let's get that salmon up there keep a little separation on the rack that's a little too close for me here so we can get some good circulation hopefully you can see that in there pretty good and then uh, we're going to go in and uh, I'm just going to close this lid at this point. And so as you can see, I got a little bit of smoke coming out the chimney. That's, that's a good sign. We'll go ahead and open it up. And oh, look at there. We got some goodness going on there. So this is the desired, you know, smoke content that I want to get. As you can see, it kind of flickering around the actual smoke. So look back at that last segment of the film and I noticed that I was putting my hand over the top of the fire. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get some comments on that, but uh, 
I can assure you that I didn't get burned. See, I don't have any holes in my jacket. But uh, as a precaution, I think that uh, you should be careful of that when you go to do this yourself. So anyway. I uh, just thought I would check on that. And also, I will check on this for probably about every half hour just to make sure that I get a steady smoke stream here, which is what I'm looking for. And if uh, by some chance that little fire down there went out, then I'll just restoke it up and then get it going again. All right, let's see what we have here. I don't see any smoke coming out. And one law. Hey, look at there. We have some pretty... Pretty good looking salmon there. And some fat that kind of boiled up off the top there. It's a little chilly out here, just a little above freezing. So you can see uh, a little steam coming off the salmon there. And then as you can see, my ashes are pretty much done. So I prefer a cold smoked um, salmon. Um, my family doesn't necessarily like that, so I am going to do my best to get this off. Well, I tell you what, uh, there's a lot of good smell coming off of this thing right now. If I could just get this thing off here. There we go. All right. So uh, since I like the cold smoke, um, we're going to treat myself. And then uh, I'm going to cook the rest of the, the salmon for about another hour to touch. So uh, what I mean by that is here, let me put this thing right out here. All right. So this is a smaller, smaller piece right here. So when I touch on it, you can see there is a little bit of a crust to it but it's still very moist on the inside so that's giving me a cold smoke so it's going to be a real moist type salmon on this one over here he's a little bit fatter so uh, as you can see there's a lot of moist going on there and then you can see the uh, oil build up too and uh well the taste test um this is pretty rocking here so i'm gonna plug in my grill and uh I can set mine down to about 180 degrees, so I'm going to do that, and then it's going to probably cook for probably about another hour or so. Again, I'm going to come back and do the, um, the press test, if you will, to check to see how firm the salmon is. All right, I'll be back. All right, uh, it's been a, about an hour since the last time we checked, so I'm just doing a spot check to see what's going on with the grill. As you can see. Yeah, quite a bit of smoke coming out of here, which is a good thing, right? All right, let's open her up. Oh, hey, look at there. We got some bonus footage, too. I just have to have some extra salmon, so that's going to be dinner tonight. But uh, as you can see, we have... It's looking pretty good. So I'm doing my pressure test there, and this is getting pretty thick. Uh, it's not, not as wobbly. But this guy right here is definitely, definitely pretty soft. So he's gonna be here for a while. Um, this one is getting a little bit almost there too. So we're getting close. I'm gonna go ahead and put that lid back down and and come back in a, about another hour. All right. Now we're ready to see what's going on we do have a little bit of smoke rolling out here let's see what we have all that hard work and effort and look what we have here it's looking pretty good at this point I can safely say that uh, it's a little soft but I think after it rests a little bit we're gonna be good to go because these are these are pretty firm I think those are gonna be exactly where I want them to be especially this guy and uh, so anyway, now the hard part. Let's see what we can do to get this thing uh, off this grill. All right, we'll be back for the taste test inside. All right, brought the salmon inside. Ready to do the salmon reveal. Here we go. There we are. I can't tell you how good that smells right now. I mean, obviously it looks pretty good too, but um, it really, really smells pretty good. 
And uh, anyway, uh, I'd love to uh, tell you that I, you know, caught a little portion of a fish that, you know, I threw back, but uh, I don't know, somehow that, that disappeared. I don't know how it disappeared from the, the grill to here, but uh, it did. Anyway, it is absolutely fabulous. Um, I won't bore you with the details or watch me smack my lips as I'm, you know, salivating over the salmon. But uh, anyway, thanks for the ride. Uh, I hope the whole process of uh, catching it and uh, bring it home and, and brining it or putting the brine together and then uh, uh, showing you how I do my smoked salmon. Um, obviously, uh, it looks good. Um, you know, what the heck, I'll jump in here again. And as you can see, um, it's not super dry and it's actually uh, a pretty good moist. Uh, sorry, out of view here and I just got to take another bite that's phenomenal just phenomenal phenomenal I can't even speak